Damn time flies. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. Hang on. There you go. Oh, I gotta check it. We're pushing hard tonight. Okay, so. I took screen captures last night when I was going through the comments. And you remember me saying yesterday a thousand comments would be extraordinarily cool? Well, I withdraw that comment because that's a lot of reading for me. Holy smokes. Unbelievable. I'm just kidding, but uh, that, a thousand comments. I always wondered what it was going to be like to read a thousand comments. We never had a thousand last night. It's a good thing because, holy cow, that is a lot of reading. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it was fun, I must admit. I really, I actually, truly, that was probably the most fun I had was last night and this morning reading all of that. And it's just so consuming. And I had to take all the screen captures, make sure I got good pictures for everybody here. Okay. So I added another link down below the video just where it came online there. And um, it's to the foyer. I just want to cover that right away for everybody. So it's the FIA related to the Japanese emergency. And you see where the arrows are pointing, right, on that screen capture? Well, when you click one of those two numbers, you're going to be presented with one of these windows. And you can see the little boxes I got there. And there's like 500 pages, 400 pages, etc., etc. And so when you click one of those links, you need to keep a record of what you're doing, right? So you can find your way back to those. That's what I'm teaching you to do here. So you can find your way back to make sure you do this right and that you can document it and put it all in a, like a text file. Right? Copy the URLs and write down the page number. And at the top of that picture you're looking at, that's the third window you open after you click on one of the 500 page files or 400 page files like I just talked about. And you see it says uh, Japanese at the top, Fukushima Daiichi ET, extraterrestrial, audio files. And at the bottom it says Friday, March the 18th, 2011. So you know what you're looking at, okay? Now, uh, excuse me. And that file has 323 pages. So say you're going down t through that 323 pages, right? And you find something interesting. And so you look at the top of your page, the big girl, it says page 5. Right, that's very important, of 323, so you record that. And then on the left-hand side of the screen, you see the arrow, and you see the sentences, 20, 22nd sentence, 23rd sentence, uh, 24th and 25th sentence, or you can put a box for, like, for a paragraph to describe exactly where you found that tidbit of information that Chuck Casto says, oh, the, that's the, the video confirmed that there was water? That video, I saw that video. That video doesn't confirm anything. See, that's, I don't know how anybody, <laughs> so that's transcribed from an audio. And these documents are authentic, okay? They're authentic, what you're going to find on that link below. That's the authentic files. And so each night I'll try to make sure to, re to cover that at and so people that want to look for information or looking for tidbits or looking for names to hang in the streets and stuff like that, which is, I say that because I mean it, but I don't think it'll ever happen. But I keep saying it because I mean it. <laughs> and I hope it's going to happen. But I can't imagine it ever happening. If this was like 60 years ago, yeah, you know, I could see it happening. <coughs> Not that it matters what I say in that particular, because we all And so now oils to the Japanese uh, fire release from the accident. And, d and that top of the page here, right? So at the beginning of the page, just to get you started, you'll find your way around the site after a while, but that'll get you a fast start for you, where that arrow is till you click on that, then pick and choose. And just try to remember what you're doing and which one you clicked so you can find your way back. And you're going to be opening a PDF file. And she's a slow, she's a piglet. 
or he's a piglet or it's a piglet. And that's going to be an issue for some people. Don't let that discourage you. Take your time. Spend an hour, spend two hours and learn. Right? Find out what works and what don't work. Don't just, ah, oh, it's not working for me, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to be all kinds of redaction there. You're not going to be able to read. So you're going to have to learn to read between the lines because you can't read the lines, right? Okay. So I just wanted to make sure everybody understands. And, um, of course, Henry Patrick Penry, such a tongue-twisting name, eh? It's shocking. It's okay because I can go to recite or blah, 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 but when it comes to say the name out loud for some reason, it gives me a rough time. It's like I, like I said to my friends, it's a tongue twister for me. And yeah, where are we? I'm going to leave it on that page. Come over to the comments section. Make sure everything is working right. Make sure I've got some oil in the gears here. Make sure everything is spinning like my head was when I was trying to read. It shows me 963 co uh, comments last night, folks. 963, right? That's inconceivably cool. Don't don't try to outdo yourselves, okay? For goodness sakes. Not that I'm on. I'll read them. Don't get me wrong. But I said just say, i seen a lot of people were struggling to try to get those numbers last night. And you don't have to do that. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to come up and say hi, everybody, before I say anything else. Hi, Miss Milky. I'm going to slow it down. I gotta wave with this hand because when I wave with that hand, a lot of people can't see it. I noticed in my videos, so I gotta learn to wave with this hand. Hi, Aviator. Hi, Randy Ross. You f I finally caught me on a live stream, eh? Look at that. <laughs> Say hello to the people at work. I, I, I appreciate you folks and your messages. I've read them, and I've been hoping to catch you so I can say thank you. Spanking on um, Unit Four. Miss Milky the Clown. Speaking, speaking. And I like to spank in Unit 4. Unit 4, I'll get around to that after. Missing Sky, hi. Yeah, to start a new channel. YouTube Smackdown. Hi, uh, Missing Sky. Why not ways with this hand so people can actually see it for a change? Hi, Lorena Rell. How are you? Uh, Miss Milky, a must read March 11th to the 18th, 2011. Better than any book ever. And so you're referring to my screen capture that I got up there, obviously. It's a hat trick, like hockey. Right, Newman? Yeah. Uh, so it shows up in this computer quicker. Hi, Info Power. Moments mean nothing. Moments nothing more, rather. Tom Freener. Hi, Tom. Yeah, you betcha. You got to pay the bills, sir. Uh, let me keep coming down and say hi to a few people. For getting... Hi, Cockroach. I mean, Tommy Cockroach. See, your song is doing pretty good. Everybody loves that. Everybody goes over and listens to it. Gotta like that, man. That's fantastic. That Hopefully that encourages you to do more. Hi, Elizabeth. Uh, i seen your question down there. I took a screen capture. That's just for a come on line. I'll get to that. Hi, Starlight. Sergeant York. Hi, Make is looking. Nubra Magic. Mama Knock. How are you, honey? Hi, Kerry. Hi, Robin. Nice seeing you. Hi, NB UK. Uh, folks, as a consensus, what do you think that I should do the show a lot earlier? And that would help out the UK and those other countries in that time zone, I guess, right? Because I thought about that. How can I do two shows a day? I can barely do one. <laughs> I'll just beat myself silly. I will do it if I got two. If it's necessary, I will turn around and do two. But I guess if I do the show earlier in the day, then uh, that's that should work, hopefully. Uh, because the live is good. Hi, Albert. <laughs> I'm missing Sky's waving back. Aloha, Kerry Musgrave. Aloha, uh, you poor tank. You're down in uh, Hawaii, right? Yeah, don't worry. You won't be there much longer. That's a hard thing to say. I can imagine someone saying that to me, right? Yeah, you won't be there much, much longer, Dana. And they're so right. And it's just, I hate that reality as much as everybody, okay? I carry on a little bit too much sometimes, so. Hi, Christopher. How are you? Uh, I'm off track. Hi, Log. 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 Man, 77. Man, that's a hard one. That's a tongue twister. 
I'll probably get it quicker than I get uh, Lorena Rell's name. Took me quite a while to get that one. I got a lot of practice in and I'm still working hard. <laughs> Lorena Rell. She's going to the boondocks. Uh, you poor thing, you'll be okay. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I say hi to a few people because I got sidetracked on my own little... Yeah, you sent me how to say your name. Yasalil. I can't pronounce Hi, Leah Otter. Another UK. Hi, Mama Knox. Yeah, the trolls are ready. Give me a thumbs down. Sometimes it's like an hour or two hours before I come online, I get the thumbs down. This is pretty funny. They don't, they don't argue and they don't debate, right? So I guess they do that on their channel and all the other PR firm trolls see the thumb down, they know to come over to this video. And uh, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that uh, the trolls will last very long on our stream without leaping out of a window from a skyscraper. I mean, they're in those little cubicles and their boss are off banging their wives. And it's got to be a hell of a job. Gotta watch me. Uh, hi, Mickey. You are wrong. That's good. Let's hear it. A army is building and learning how to use the information you read, <laughs> Miss Milky Hat Hatrick. That's a good uh, mashup of the name. Yeah, I'll call you George if I can remember. I gotta catch up to Mickey's comment. He's got a good comment. Yeah, we're not gonna go without. That's why we're here every night. That's why we do what we do. We're building a. Um, we're building the resistance, I guess. We're not activists, okay? Let's get something straight. We're not activists. None of us. Not one of us. And uh, nobody should be allowed to label you as activists. You're not activists. You got every right to be here. You got every right to be concerned. It's the moral and ethical thing to do. And you're actually required by your constitutions, your Bill of Rights, and your Magna Carters. You're obligated, it's your obligation uh, to route out that tyranny, to stomp out that uh, rogue element or that that betrayal of trust. That's your obligation. You are obligated to do that. Under your bills of rights and under your constitutions, as a citizen, under your Magna Carters, as a citizen, as a person, as a sovereign person, You uh, are obligated to stand up and speak out. And that doesn't make you an activist, okay? That's your duty. You're required under law to do that, under your bills to do that. And so a lot of people can get easily led down the road of activism. So when a media puts out a headline, that's activism too in that case. If we put out a headline, all of a sudden we're activists. We're not activists. We're just one of the legions that are coming. The self-righteous and indignant and justified legions that are coming and growing. And these are not, um, these are every walk of life imaginable, of every education level imaginable, in a unification of understanding that the world is on to brink for quite a long time and there is no time left to stay on that fence. There is no left side of a fence and a right side of a fence in this, in this, um, you know, I, I, I can't really come up with a name to call anything like that outside of an extinction level event, particularly right away for the Pacific Ocean and every species in it is unimaginable. That if a meteorite was to hit the Pacific Ocean, it wouldn't kill every species in that ocean. And it's about these people creating, not necessarily the weapons, but the, the technology to get them off of this planet. And that they're gonna throw away the entire planet as a last ditch effort because they got no choice to force us off the planet, to force us come up with technology. 
Not try to save the planet, though. No intentions. That's the very opposite of what they're willing to do. That would uh, solidify their existence forever on this planet in their eyes. They have this quench now to leave the planet. Uh, and they knew this a long time ago. They planned 40, 50, 60, 100 years always in advance, these people. They knew what the radionucleoids could do. They knew what the atomic age was going to do. Oppenheimer had literally no doubt what this was going to do. And we are only beginning to understand it. Last night was a really prime example of what just low-level radiation ultimately can do and will do. And low-level radiation that is coming out of Fukushima is much worse than what was in Fallujah. And I got an article there that I'll bring up very quick. And I'm going to come up over to the conversation center again. And I just want you to... Hang on. Radioactive sea spray has been shown to blow hundreds of kilometers inland. Hundreds of kilometers inland. Just a spray. Not the rain that's picking it up and dragging it in. Not the thousands of miles of cloud, but just the sea spray itself, the way it liberates itself when it hits the coastline. Because normally, when water hits the coastline, right, there's that evaporation, that liberation of uh, oxygen molecules and other molecules, obviously, as it hits the coastline. And it's been said many times that the, the motion of the ocean smashing into the coastline that's why uh, the first 30 feet of the shoreline is so rich because it has all this oxygen being liberated. And that's why uh, so much marine life gravitate to those zones. Uh, on the east coast of Canada, the ice will come in and scrub the entire coastline. So every spring when you go down there, there's hundreds of trillions everywhere you look. Literally, in your sight, hundreds of trillions. It seems like that anyway. But it's been recorded at much higher numbers than that. Um, of little life, little sea urchins, sea cucumbers, sea anemones, starfish. And we see the San Francisco uh, Chronicle today, headline, up on ENE News. The decimation of the starfish all the way from Mexico all the way up to uh, shitty Alaska. That's just my personal joke. I've been up, I've been up to Alaska. We've we actually chartered a plane uh, after being on the ocean for 106 days. Uh, we had four days off where we head back out for another 100-day trip. And we had chartered a plane up to Ketchikan, Alaska for 24 hours. And with the intention of getting drunk, and I think we spent around $4,500 on the hotel room and the booze in 24 <laughs> hours. And we flew back into Canada the next afternoon. And the bar gave us a tube four of beer for the plane. <laughs> and baseball caps each. So when we got off the plane, float plane in uh, Ketchikan, or uh, Br British Columbia, Canada, and uh, Prince Rupert, just a quick story. Because uh, the, the <laughs> you got to imagine now you're in this plane, you're bouncing around, you're drinking a two for it. You already drank for 24 hours into oblivion. Um, and he asked us, do we have anything to declare? And I was like, my, my legs crossed going, if you let me pee over there, there won't be nothing to declare, but uh, you know, because it was, they just, ah, he finally got sick of him and let me go do it. We're a bunch of drunk divers, you got to realize, after 106 days on the ocean, it didn't take very many beer to make it really stupid, certainly. Uh, so I know I switched and banged around. The, uh, so radioactive sea, radioactive sea spray has been shown to blow hundreds of kilometers inland, but the clouds will take it thousands of miles inland. The typhoons, the tornadoes, the F4 and F5 tornadoes, like the one that hit the Philippines, will make the coastlines uninhabitable anyway. And that could happen tomorrow. That could happen the day after. Right? Because there's so much radiation in that ocean at this stage. But I want to come back over to the comment section. I didn't want to I didn't want to go into one of my digressions. So there's an unprecedented mass of oxygen poor water near shore along the California coastline, and that was December the 9th. That's today's article. Uh, previous unknown toxic algae blooms suddenly proliferating, and a mysterious stranding of large squid. That was an older one. 
covering 12 miles. I've never seen that. I've never seen that on the 26,000 islands up here. I've never seen it in Nova Scotia. I've never seen it when I was diving British uh, Newfoundland. I've never seen it when I was diving um, Bay of Fundy. I've never seen nothing like that when I was diving the St. Lawrence. I've never seen anything. And like I, I lived on the ocean average of 315 days a year, uh, partly because it was impossible to get someone to replace me. For, for starters, uh, I knew the industry at some point was going to die and I wasn't willing to get off the ocean because I knew it was all going to go quota. And so I was lucky in that sense where I understood that. I was unlucky in the sense that I had seen it already take place on the East Coast and that's why I was on the West Coast uh, because they had closed down the entire industry. Why they let the... and I know I digressed. Yeah, beer stupid. And the Japanese on the East Coast, uh, they would come down there when we were doing the Capelin. And if the Saner was coming in, and we were the coastal boats, and the Saner had went out after we were headed in on load, and he was headed back in with another load, they would make us dump our loads, 20,000, 25,000 pounds right overside the boat, because their product was 10 minutes fresher, or 15 minutes fresher, to the point where there was a rebellion one summer, at the end of the summer, because people just couldn't take it anymore, where every day you were dumping millions of pounds at the wharf and you had to go out and try to beat the saners back in. And those saners were actually from British Columbia. And so, you know, I really hated the Japanese back then. Um, probably shouldn't tell you what I'm going to tell you next, but I'm going to tell you anyway, I guess, because that's how I roll. So when we pull into the wharf, this happened to us about five days in a row with at least once a day, 20, 25,000 pounds had to be dumped over the side of the boat. And so the guy who was going around checking all the loads, he would pick the capelin up and he would squeeze their bellies and squirt the, squirt the row, which is what they wanted, of the capelin, which is like a smelt, it's like a little tiny trout. And he would squirt that in his mouth. And so I had seen him do this many times and then he would say to the guy who spoke English, and but he'd say, no, too old, and you have to dump your load, go get a fresher load. Now, these loads weren't more than 20, 25 minutes old from the ocean. Um, so anyway, I'll end the story on that one. It's a really bad story to tell, but I'm telling it. So, it's, But it's a true story. It's what I've done. My dad got really mad with me for it. And uh, I, I pissed all over the product while he was on the wharf with his back to us. And my dad came out and caught me. And he didn't say anything because Buddy was right behind us. And Buddy jumped down and <laughs> he ate two, two or three, picked them up, whoosh, Squirting right in his mouth. And like he said to the boat before and the boat after, to all throw overboard. And uh, that's a fact. I actually done that. I almost beat one of them up one time. But, you know, you didn't argue with your dad when I was growing up. You didn't disrespect him that way. You wouldn't do that to him. But I couldn't take it, you know. Just creature was destroying our coastline by doing that to us throwing all that shit over the side uh, and I got digressed my goodness I knew I was going to be a burnout before I even start the night so James Wong and the Vietnamese I missed that one don't pop their bubble Robin Hood hi Philip Larson Miss Frill Robin Hood I don't even bring it up with people I'll catch up Albert Sky, he's talking to Sky. Philip says, I bring it up. I just like to see what they have to say. Missing Sky. Okay, I'll come over to the. Com I got a bunch of comments there from last night. I'm going to get to. Uh, Robin Hood says, I work with about 90 uh, people, and literally not one of them believes me. They don't even think anything is happening at Fukushima. Like it's all fixed up now. Yeah. Mosquitoes are almost gone in Hawaii. Kerry Musgrave. And uh, time person of the year has to be Snowden. The fuck you got that on my stream for? Huh? S I L eighty whatever. Stick to the topic or take a hike, okay? No offense. Um, hi, Carrie B. Carol B. You're like a sergeant sponge. Uh, okay, so let me go over to the comment section. Uh, come yell at that soldier, whoever wrote that Snowden fucking remark there again. 
I put a video out about Snowden, okay? Took me like 16 hours to put it together. I don't put that shit on my fucking page anymore. Tell me about shit I already flushed out. You are here to talk about Fukushima. Or I'm going to block your ass so I don't have you back here bothering me again. Fuck you, I'm just going to go block you right now. Shove Snowden up your arse. See, I can be pretty naughty too sometimes. Particularly when I know certain people are got nothing interested. They're here to distract people. That's what they do, right? You got to watch out for the PR firms, right? They're murderers. Right? They're murdering people. That's what they do. It's very subtle how they do things. I've been at this eight years. I've dealt with some really hardcore PR firms. One of them had 500 truck drivers. I had to block every one of them. Think about that one in one day. Right, the PR firms, they're getting money to murder people by the muddle of water, the muddle of conversation. Uh, you'll find that in the fire releases under my video, actually. If you go start going looking through that stuff, you'll find all kinds of uh, references to that. I'm starting to put together a collection of it. And the PR firms, these are the lowest forms of life besides uh, TEPCO executives themselves. The PR firms are particularly hideous people. They're at the very lowest part of uh, the population on the planet. These are the feeders. These will rape uh, unconscious women in a heartbeat. These will murder your toy dog just so they can get a collar because they're too cheap to go buy one for their non-human girlfriends and boyfriends. The PR firms, these are true vultures. They know what they're doing. And they're out there just continuously lying on all the forms and all the... They're also the pundits. They're PR firms. They're like the lobbyists in one sense. These are the most uh, psychopathic people you could ever imagine. And there's no limit to what they'll do, how much energy and time and effort they'll put into trying to muddle that water because they're getting a paycheck to be a murderer and a mass murderer and a mass killer and a mass anti-human piece of shit and sometimes you just sometimes you've just got to hang some of these right that's common those PR firms every one of them that's out there we'll get your IP addresses off all these videos don't think you're getting away with that stuff because you're not okay you're as much to blame by mudding the water all the time by influencing media all the time by disinforming people all the time. You're, you're the monsters. You're the most destructive things on the planet before, besides the radiation itself is the PR firms. Stay the fuck off my site. Go bother somebody else. Because every time you show up, you drive me into a fucking rage for days. Because we're here to deal with the issue. We're not here to have pricks and creatures and monsters showing up on the fucking stream trying to put their shit there as a distraction. And then you get over to their site and they got all this fucking pop music on it. They don't know nothing about radiation. They're about drawing people over and sending them off to fluff. You're horrible monsters. And I catch screen captures of you every time. And I send your name off to IP firms that identifies the IP addresses. Because in the future, I want to see you fuckers swinging. I want you identified. I really do. I hate you. You are the fucking scum. I'm sorry. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I fucking hate your guts. Stay the fuck off my stream. Ah! Everything was going good. I see him out there on everybody else's stream being fucking monsters. Being just the most idiotic, murdering monsters you can imagine. These PR firms, these cowards, these traitors to humanity. These outright, outrageous, outrageous PR firms. These cowards who hide away. They fucking hide away. I'm going to do a couple of videos this week about PR firms. You know what? Fuck you fuckers. 
Fuck you fuckers. You want to go playing fucking games with me this last week? Yeah, new brew magic. I love when people call him. Shill. I watch your videos, man. You're 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 just as real as I am. 100%. I I get that. See. No one. That's why they're there. But they're there to, like to to employ and insinuate and just muddle that friggin' water. And it's good to show up because every once in a while I kind of I do, I get away from it and I forget how angry they make them each day in the comment section, how do you enrage me and how do you motivate me to do what I'm doing every fucking night? How I realize I gotta be out there. Just like everybody below me in the links gotta be out there to counter these murderers, these fucking traitors. I mean, that's priority is to hunt these fuckers down. These cowards. See, there you go. Anyway, there I go, Elizabeth. I agree. <laughs> but when I see him, I don't hold it back. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Annabeck. Missing Scott. Robin. Donna. George. Lugman. 77. Philip. Lunar. James. Missing Sky. Yeah, I can get. Sorry, folks. Fuck. Hi, Red Button Studio. How you going, bud? Thank you. I see you, man. I see everything. I'm online. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah, no, I made home. No, yeah, you bet, but yeah, I'm on live online now, so okay, I'm coming. I'm coming in tomorrow morning, so I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, bud. Yeah, yeah. Ciao. Bye, bye. That's me, buddy. I always got to answer your phone for your buddy. You're never too busy, ever under any circumstances, to answer a call because you don't know it could be really important, right? So I, I, I'll, I'll never, because any of my friends have my number, and if my phone rings, that, that could be something really important, so I always answer it. It's a goddamn motherfucking Fukushima zombie criminal. <laughs> hey, time the cockroach. Um, hi, Donna. Philip, I go by Rads as well. Uh, Annabeck says they are worse since Google Plus. Nuts for art, hi. Yeah, I wish it was just anger. It's rage. It's just friggin' rage. They're gonna get it now. Now they're gonna get it from me. That's enough. I'm tired of it, right? I see what they're doing to everybody. I see what they're doing to Uber Magic. I see what they're doing to Miss Milky. I've been watching that for a long time. Fuckers, boy. There you go. See, I go right back to my new finis when I get when I get going. I gotta watch it, cause. It's hard to slip out of that mode, too, once you get going down. It's, I just want to tear somebody up. Hardly. But those friggers, boy, the PR firms, I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. I'm catching some of them. Thanks, Red Button. You're a good one. Yeah, hats off to you, man. You're busy. I see that, right? I'm looking over there as I'm talking over here. It's just because I got a lean way to friggin' hit and I got this I got this little setup here and that's all it does, right? That computer doesn't do nothing, only this thing here and the video. That's it. It doesn't get used again until it's ready to sit here again. That's all it's ever been used for. That's what I got it for specifically for that purpose. Both of these. That's this one and that one is and that's the only times I've ever used two of them together or at all, is together. And so I'm looking over here at the other one, but I got a lot of uh, computers and laptops. Uh, and the idea was to take all the different subjects that I study and put them all on their own individual computers. Plus I got all the hard drives where they're all backed up onto the hard drives. Plus I use that when I'm out on the go or something like that. I'll take the hard drives with me because I can just type in and get anything I want at any time. Because this is what I do. Eight years straight, I don't do nothing else. 
uh, just research. I'm a researcher and I share it with people basically. Hi Donna, I'll get away for you. And old Cam, um, I'm getting ready to come up with my third video where I'm going to go into more details of how to make videos. But I just want to remind everybody you can take OCAM. It's a free software and you can capture screen captures. It's really easy to use. It's really good. There's no latency and it's ready to be used again. Even if you captured a whole one hour video and you hit stop, it would render B on your desktop. You can hit start again immediately. Right? As soon as you hit stop, you can go over and hit start again and it's already on your desktop rendered. Right? So that's what I mean by no latency. And you can install it while you're watching this video. And if there's a little clip there, you can clip it out, like a 30 second rant or a two minute rant on a subject that you want to explain to somebody. And you can just clip that out, right? And that's very handy. This is what I do all the time. Is when I hear somebody talking about something, I zoop, and then I clip out that, and then I'll listen to that four or five or six or seven times until I got like a little, you know, I, I get it. And then I'll play that for my friends because it's more articulate than me saying it even then, you know. Uh, let me see, Albert, Stormy Cloud. Yeah, well, you got to get the monsters too, right? The ones, the ones who are paying them. Um, yeah, hundred. That that I am talking about those people. Right? But you also got to go after the monsters, the, the major monsters, the, not, not the actual trolls who are online. I don't care about them. I want their supervisors. I want to know what office they're into, what their IP addresses are, and then a whole lot more information associated with that. Right? There's a lot of metadata associated with these people. Hi, you a prop. They'll be scared of uh, Nuts for Art because he's like me. Yeah, OCAM, that's right, Nuts for Art. And you can install it right now while we're talking. Just go type in OCAM free download and it'll take you right to their site. And that's what it's meant for. It's a free total. Everything on it is useful. No watermarks. And you can open the windle up to whatever size you want from each corner. Or you can bring the windles in, just make a little section. And then you just hit start and start recording it. And so if you've got like a 30 second clip you want to grab, you can just snatch it that way. But you can snatch the whole page just with a screen capture with that same device. It's really fast, it's really useful. It's top notch, it really truly is top notch for people that don't want to go out and spend a lot of money. Yeah, OCAM is the name and I, I made a video about that, remember? Six or seven or eight videos back where I spent all day to make a video to explain how to use that along with another feature. So I've already put a lot of work into it, but I should have that underneath all of my videos with a small explanation. You're 100% <laughs> Nuber Magic wants to start off the surf club. You test out radiator suits. <laughs> oh, Cam, that's right. You got it. O, big O too. And then uh, the, the C in Cam is large. Uh, and I can't post a link though why the video is live streaming. I, I can come in after and post a leak. Link. A leak. A link. That's too funny. I calm down a little bit now. <laughs> you have your peoples. Well, 123 people. Holy smokes. Wow. 38 minutes. Great. Everybody caught me at my worst moment when I'm screaming like a madman about PR firms because it just like sends me into a deep edge. Wait now, what was uh, the name of the video? Fukushima versus the entire planet. Right. And now, you know, I originally thought about that title and uh, I was gonna put down uh, one round left. And you know, I said, you know what? It's not that at all. It's not like that at all. That's not how I should be coming out. It should be coming out is the entire planet is coming after Fukushima. So I kind of should have put it the other way, I guess. The entire planet against Fukushima instead of Fukushima against the entire planet. And I thought about it just as I was coming online. I was like, ah, too late. Um, so maybe I'll change the name. Maybe more like you'll see the entire planet versus Fukushima. <laughs> just to be a dick. And I'll do something like that. 
Well, because that's what, what that's what truly what's happening right now, right? You just download it, yeah, and you can install it and actually use it right away. Because I've done that with that program on my different computers. I don't know how many times now where because I I don't generally transfer things from one computer to another computer because I don't like because they could have one bugged and I got a number of computers I don't even put online. I've never been online. And I have no intentions of ever going online. And guess what? I never have an issue with them. They're never slow. They never get buggy. They never do bloop, bloop, bloop. Certainly don't do no updates. I don't need them. It's, it's an interesting thing to remember. If you buy a computer, you set it up decent and never put it online, that computer will be unbelievably fast the entire life of that computer because you're not downloading through proxies the metadata and the background junk that will fill up every uh, nook and cranny on your computer if you don't clean it out regularly. And I bet cut the best one, yeah. Sergeant York, uh, rubers of Japan tack in China. Yeah, I mean China's probably gonna nuke, like a real nuke, Japan at some point. They're so pissed off with Japan because of the radiation. That's all about the radiation. It's got nothing to do with the island. Right, that was just to give them a foot to create the, the noise, see? But in the background, this is about the radiation. And that China wasn't kept up to speed on the actual numbers. And so China is really fucking... That's why they got rid of the one-child policy. That's why they're getting rid of the slave camps. Fukushima is going to get rid of the... Do the population control form. Just like Atomic Cockroach's song says. Get rid of the infestation. Because that's how they see us, see? Yeah, <laughs> Iron Earl says, if I scream and it's bothering anyone, you can just whisper and show the radiated babies, which is what low-level, uh... yeah, Woody Allen. Um, Sergeant York froze up on you, Donna J froze up, dang, got cut off again. Now, I never got jacked on my stream. I will normally, if my stream gets cut off here, it blows it up to the top of the page, and I get big red banners, and then they dissipate right fast, and Google grabs my stream again. And so if you guys are all losing it at the one time, that's separate. That's not my stream for sure. So that's the, the creatures themselves probably pinching off my stream. That definitely wouldn't... wouldn't uh... And Randy Ross, same thing. Uh, Christopher, same thing. Kerry Muggsgrave got the same thing. Freelance, same thing. Hi, Robin. Yeah, well, we do a live stream every night now. Seven days a week. And I don't know what, how many days I've been doing this. Uh, let me see. Uh, 46 days today, I think. 46 days in a row. Frozen Dana Pops. There's no Uber magic. Uh, and it's kind of interesting how that computer it comes up quicker than this computer because Nubu Magic 2012's comment popped up there and still not up over here I'm still on Randy Ross uh, comment over here or is it vice versa maybe it's vice versa what the hell do I know anyway we'll find out in a second as it moves no I know So Mike Mallory, yeah, I know who Mike is. Is Mike's a conservative, progressive, left, right, center, middle, far, extreme, whatever works. See, I got a big problem with all. It's not certainly not Mike. I haven't listened to him only two or three times, but I got a big problem with all the names out there, and they talk about Fukushima, and I think uh, ninety percent of them should keep their mouth shut. They got no idea what they're saying. They're spinning it for this left, right, center, middle, far, extreme, nihilistic paradigm they live in. They still want to live in those paradigms. They don't get it when they do that. If they're saying stuff like that, see, that means you don't get it. Because if you get it, you don't talk about anything else on your focus. You Because you get it. Because nothing else matters. It, there's nothing else that matters anymore. And there are people out there starting to get it. 
But if they work for media, they got no choice. They're supposed to go down this road and that road and them roads and blah, blah, blah. Whatever Reuters and AP says, you know, they got to regurgitate it back up. Because that's what media does. It reads a teleprompter. Right? Why well, is picking underwear out of its arse underneath that $5,000 suit? Excuse me, folks. But that's how I see and that's how I visualize these people. I, I, I actually visualize that when I, when I think about them. <laughs> so I don't have a very high opinion of these people, obviously. Um, so anyway, once again tonight, we just kind of went down this rabbit hole. I apologize. Sometimes you got to blow off a bit of steam, choke, visually choke a few PR firms for something to do. That's really good. Gets the heart palpitations down. Magnesium will do that for you too also. I guess that's probably a better way. Yeah, I agree. Freelance, yeah. Nubru's gone. Yeah, me too, folks. I'm going to. I'm just going to go down that pipeline. Yeah, so we'll wind her down. We'll call her a short night anyway. Am I a shell back? That's Nova Scotia. No, I'm Newfoundland, Mickey. Haven't been down there 25 years, so I'm from Canada. Hi, Fish Farm. No shell back is Nova Scotia, I think. That's what he's talking about. G to G. Reload your page. Everybody's having a problem, mate. Wow. So Google and... Because you're all in different places. And so my screens don't... My, you know, if I was having a bad signal, my, both of my computers that time would have popped right up to the top of the page and I would have got that big red bar. That never happened. But anyway, uh, yeah, we had a little chat, so not much of a video tonight. Uh, that's just the way it goes, I guess. There's a bit of background noise because it's so cold down here. I got to have the extra heater on. Okay, so I'm going to wind it down and we'll close it down for tonight. We'll come back tomorrow night. Uh, swinging. 47 minutes. Newber Magic gets attacked every single day. Same as me. Same as Miss Milky. Same as Radchick. Ackerman, Blanche, Patrick, uh, Henry, Penry, uh, Andrew, uh, quite a few people. Okay, so we'll call it a night, folks. Sergeant Yurk, can't even pronounce that one. Annabeck, uh, Bob Smith, Albert, thank you. Mr. Jim Cameron, Hi Country Cow. Yeah, we're gone. Hi Randy Ross. Yeah, I hear ya. Fish Fan, uh, Annabeck, Aviator, Char, 2643. Miss Milky Clown, of course. Red Button Studios, Ricky Sticky, Hi. Make is looking. You'll say, Mama Knox. Freelance Ryan, Philip, Letter in the Roll, uh, Nuber Magic, Kerry Musgrave, Donna, Andrew, Stormy Cloud, uh, Newman, Europrop, No GMOs, uh, Moments Many More, James Wong, Robin, uh, Elizabeth, <laughs> Bob Smith, Mickey. I done pretty good. I done pretty good. I think I got them all just before he gives it up. Robin Hood. Did I miss anybody? Probably so. How much I can do? It was okay to have a little chat. It was okay to scream at the PR firms and make sure they don't forget that we know they're murderers and they're monsters and we ain't never going to forget them. And that, let me end it by saying there's three melted reactors which are... Um, Three times the size of Chernobyl. Chernobyl was one third of the reactors in Fukushima, the size. 30% meltdown on top of that. 
So each of these reactors at Fukushima had pulls above them. Each pull had around 122,000 rods at 80 rods per bundle, 12 feet long, and 1,535 bundles in each pond that we know about. There could be many more, see? And so if each, each building was 10 stories and had three pulls in it, if not five, at least three pulls in it, there's 360,000, 66,000 rods in each uh, building. And four buildings had detonation. And like I covered last night, one of the buildings, that's proof now that one of the buildings is photoshopped the pond. And I'll bring that picture up for everybody because we never even touched it. Uh, and as I end the, the show here tonight, let me roll up a little bit. And what you're looking at is the foyer. That, so of the conversations and I'm probably not going to get the pool because I got so much there oh, I might get it hang on a sec just to give people a quick reminder so you see that pool there that's building four now here's another shot from the same time, at the exact same time where a drone went and took these shots, right? Now you can see that looks like that's water in the corner, right? Well, I zoomed in on it, and that's empty. It's empty. And so uh, that picture and this picture are the same. And so the water used, what you think you see there with, a, with what looks like a net over it, that's Photoshop, right? There's no water and there's no net. These pictures were taken at the same that picture and that picture and then the extract shows you there's actually no net there and why would you put a net there and how come there's no bodies there because there's rods everywhere and the pool is dried out so the zirconium burnt off it it caught fire a couple of times because the earthquake picked those buildings up and broke their backs and all the pools in them and that's very important you know that you understand that that's actually true and that the foyers are below and that we got all kinds of great bloggers will give you a different perspective on Fukushima below. And literally every perspective you can imagine is below. We got such a big variety, but everybody got their heart in the exact right spot. And uh, that's why they're there. You know, I'm so proud to have found these people and that uh, see that there's other people like us who are out there doing the moral and the ethical thing and learning and getting better, more articulate every single day, uh, is all we can really hope for. So we'll see you tomorrow. Jester, Wong, Anna Beck, Red Button Studios, Elizabeth, Miss Mugga the Clown, of course, as always. Uh, and we don't know how she finds the time to make it to these streams. That lady does not stop, and that's why she's so precious. We'll see you folks tomorrow night. Take care, folks.